anointing. Provoking the anointing. Provoking the anointing. What is the anointing? The anointing is the same as the supernatural force or power or grace or God's fragrant oil upon a man or a woman. The anointing is the same as the supernatural force or power or grace or fragrant oil that can come upon a man or a woman and transform such man or woman to a new person. And we take that person to another dimension, to another level, to another experience in the Lord, to deeper revelation of deeper things in God, the anointing. But this night I have come, and I'm, I, am, I have come by the, with the mandate to provoke the God's anointing upon your life. Every anointing, anointing to heal, anointing to deliver, anointing to preach, anointing to be fruitful, anointing to do exploits that have been hidden in your life. Today I have come to stir them up and I command that your anointing shall begin to speak loud right now. Your anointing shall begin to make room for you in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout a big amen. Amen. Praise God. Having said that, I want you to take note of that. What is the anointing? Everybody is talking of the anointing. Some people call it grace. Some people call it uh, different things. But the Lord spoke to me and said, it is the same as supernatural force. A power and unction that is not humanly made. Supernatural force and unction that comes from external force and overshadows a man as a fragrant oil. So when the anointing is upon you, 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 wherever you go, it's like you have an aroma. So favor follows you. So today I decree that after this meeting, the favor of God shall radiate upon your life. The favor of God shall radiate upon your life. No man shall say no to you. No woman shall say no to your request. Every of your requests shall be met. In the name of Jesus, even when they say no to everybody around you, your care shall be different. If you believe it, shout a big amen. Shout a big amen. And I declare again that today you are rising to your next level. By the reason of the anointing that's been provoked this night. By the reason of the anointing that is present this night. By the reason of the anointing that is in the atmosphere. I declare that you are rising to your next level. The level you were in yesterday, you shall no longer be in that level. In fact, the level you were in as at 11 p.m. this night, you shall no longer be in that level. God is taking you to another level. God is taking you to a global level. God is taking you to a corporate level. God is taking you to a level of an apostle. God is taking you to a level of an apostle. As, 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 an, as an apostle, as a teacher, as a prophet, as, a, as a, a pastor, receive it as you deserve it. Receive it as you desire it as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Provoking the anointing. That's what I'm speaking about today. You need the anointing. Who needs the anointing? Everyone, every man, every woman needs the anointing. In fact, our Lord Jesus needed anointing to do ministry. Ministry is not by power, not by my but by the Spirit of God. From the beginning of this year, the Lord gave the servant of God in the house the uh, vision for Good News Bible Church that this year shall be a, our year of higher ground. And also it shall not be by, by labor, but by grace. You see why anointing is important. Grace is another name for anointing. That this year shall not be by labor, by, but by grace. And we can see that it is manifesting right now. A lot of people today are receiving money from the government. You did not labor for it. That is the grace we are talking about. Some of you have been at home for 10 days, 15 days, 21 days. But you have never lacked any good thing. That's the favor and anointing of God upon your life. Praise God. So this year, remember it. It shall not be by power nor by might. It shall not be by labor. So stop over laboring yourself. Stop over laboring yourself. Jesus, the Bible says that they, them who are thirsty should come, lo, come and drink water that will never dry up again. Anointing is different from charisma. And I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. That the anointing is different from charisma. I'll give you an example. There's a man, I, I, was, um, I think I was interacting with some people on Facebook today, and they were praising a um, uh, former president of the USA, uh, Barack Obama. And they were saying he was the best orator and all that and all that. He, carried, he has the charisma, yes, 
but that is not the anointing. There are people you meet, they have the charisma, but they do not have the anointing. Some people may have oratorial power and grace, but that's different from the anointing. Anointing is the one that can break yokes. Any anointing that cannot break yoke is not an anointing from God. Look at what the Bible says. In Acts chapter 10 verse 38. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. He said, how God anointed Jesus, our Savior, with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Praise God. How God anointed our Savior Jesus Christ, Jesus of Nazareth, with the Holy Ghost and with power. Two things, take note of that. God, it was tangible with the Holy Ghost and with power. A lot of people are laboring in, in every area, laboring. Some people have the gift to sing, but they are laboring because there's no anointing. Some people have the desire to intercede, to pray, but they are laboring. They can't. You give them opportunity to pray. They, are, they get tired after two minutes because there's no anointing. A lot of people preach the gospel from here to there, but they win no souls because there was there is no anointing. A lot of people are praying for the sick and they ask themselves, why is it that when I pray for the sick, they do not recover? When the Bible says in Mark chapter 16 verse, um, verse um, 28 or so, I've forgotten what, uh, exactly, it says that, that these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall lay hand on the sick, they shall recover. So why is it that the, uh, uh, some people carry anointing so they are doing exploits like our Lord Jesus while others are not? Why? Provoking the anointing. This night I have come with divine mandate to provoke that hidden anointing inside of you. Child of God, you are well anointed. Don't look that on yourself. You are anointed. You may not know it. You are anointed. Anointed. You may not feel it. You do not need to feel it. You do not need to shout. I want you to know that the anointing is not equal to shouting as I'm shouting. <laughs> Amen? What makes me anointed is not my shouting. It's not my hooting. It's not my talking gently. It's not my, my, my mannerism of delivery. No. The anointing is quite different. The anointing breaks the yoke. The anointing breaks chains. The anointing breaks limits. So when you carry the anointing, you do great exploits. That's why the Bible says in that uh, scripture we read, Acts chapter 10 verse 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, and healing all that we are oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Praise God. Child of God, remember God is with you. So you have the number one. The number one requirement is that God was with our Lord Jesus. The same God that was with our Lord Jesus, the same God that raised him from the grave, the same God is with you. While you are sitting, seated right now, God is with you. The presence of God is with you. God resides inside of you. So the same anointing that he anointed Jesus of Nazareth can come upon you this night. Some of you, you are not baptized in the spirit. Some of you, you are not baptized with evidence of speaking in tongues. But this night, the power of God is going to hit you. The tornado in the power of God shall locate you wherever you are. And so I release the power of the Most High God. I release the dynamic power of God. I release the fire from the third heaven. I release the unction of God by the Spirit of God upon my life this night. Wherever you are, the power is coming upon you. The power is coming upon you. The power is coming upon you. You are rising out of the ground. You are rising out of your weakness. You are rising out of your fear. You are rising out of your anxiety. You are rising out of everything that has held you captive. Today you are loose in Jesus' name. Amen. He said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. If you want to provoke the anointing, you need the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot be anointed. 
If you claim that you are anointed, you, I don't know if you know, there are some people who say that they are anointed, but they are tormented. Anointed, but tormented. That shall not be your portion. Your portion is that the anointing that will come upon you today shall give you the power to prevail over every challenges of your life. That power will give you the power to prevail over every attacks of the enemy. That power will give you the power to prevail. The anointing that will come upon you will give you the power to overcome your flesh. It to give you the power to overcome every temptation, every devices, every Every uh, 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 streaks of the enemy that he comes, that he brings your way, you shall overcome from today, and you shall overcome, you shall overtake, and you shall recover in Jesus' name, because of the anointing. Those things that you have been unable to do before. After this night, you shall begin to do the impossible because the God we serve is God who can do exceedingly, abundantly, above that which you cannot dream or think about. He is a God in whom there is no impossibility. Child of God, in your DNA, there is no impossibility. I don't know who I'm talking to. You are waiting for somebody to pray for you. You are waiting for somebody else to lay hands on you. You are waiting for a big man of God to say something. God's anointing is resting upon you today. The same God of the big man, the same God of the big pastor is your God. He resides inside of you. And today, that power can come upon you. The same exploit they are doing, you can also do it. You can go about doing good, healing the sick, serving the oppressed. You can do it because the anointing is real. The anointing is coming upon you. You do not look like a, a, need to look like a pastor to carry the anointing. You do not look, need to look corporate to carry the anointing. You do not need to look sad to carry the anointing. You do not need to dress in certain way to carry the anointing. The dynamic power of God is not something you can qualify. It's not something you can quantify. It's not something you can look at it and identify it. It is in operation and performance. It is when you operate and you perform that we know that you carry the anointing. When you pray and power is released, we see the anointing. When you can be sustained in the spirit for a long time, we see the anointing. When you sing and the power of God breaks down, breaks out, and people are, are loose, people are worshipping, you know that the anointing is upon your life. It does not matter how you look. It does not matter how old you are. It does not matter whether you are newly born again. It does not matter whether you, are, you have been there, born again for ages. The anointing is your entitlement. The same God who anointed our Savior Jesus and with the Holy Spirit and the power this night, is reaching out to you. He is at your door. He is at your home. He knows your address. He knows your name. He knows where you are right now. Even where those of you in the office, the Holy Spirit is reaching out to you. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive the anointing to conceive your baby. This somebody, this night shall be your night. Your night of visitation. The anointing of double fold is coming upon somebody. Anointing of double fold is coming upon somebody. Anointing of double do, 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 double portion is coming upon you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout aloud, Amen. Amen. You know, our Lord Jesus did great exploits, not because he was good, not just because he was compassionate, but he had a backup. He was good like you. So you are good. You're a child of God. The Bible says well, everything God made was good. You are a good child of God. You are a good wife. Do not allow anybody to make you look like a bad wife. You are a good mother. You are a good husband. You are a good sister. You are a good brother. You are a good child of God. You are not bad. Don't allow the enemy say you are bad. Don't allow the enemy think that, that you are not a good Christian. You are. It is not by, your, by keeping the rule. It is by what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. So you have every qualification to carry the anointing. So he says, Jesus went about doing good. <clears throat> he did not do the exploits. He did not deliver people because he was doing good. Not because he was good. Why? Because he had a backup, the anointing. Child of God, you need a supernatural backup. You need a supernatural backup. You have struggled enough. You have labored enough. You have cried enough. You have wasted years enough. It is time to break out. It is time to rise up. It is time to shine. Your time to shine is here. Your time to recover is here. Your time to overcome is here. Your time to recover all you have lost is here. Because of the anointing. The anointing will make a difference in your 